All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a glare effect using the compositing editor in Blender. And if you've never seen the gl what the glare effect looks like, or what the glare node looks like more accurately, I have an example set up here. Right now, this image right here does not have the glare effect or glare node applied to it. This does. That's with glare, that's without glare. And as, as you can see, the glare looks like there's some kind of like volumetric effect going on. It's like the light shining on uh, fog or mist in the air. And it kind of makes it look better in my opinion. I'll show you how to go about uh, setting that up. I have the same scene open in Blender and I just rendered the same image. First thing you want to do is go up here to your screen layout and change it to compositing. And once you're here, you want to go ahead and check backdrop and use nodes. Now you need to add three different nodes to this to get it to work. Add, you need to add a mix node You need to add a viewer node. And you need to add a glare node. Now you need to take the output of the render and then plug that into the glare node. Take the output of the glare and plug that into one of the mix nodes. You also need to take the render output and plug that into the other uh, input on the mix node. Then take the output of the mix node and plug it into the viewer node and the composite node. And the reason why it, you use the viewer node is just so you can see what's going on. That's the only reason. This right here is the streak effect, or streaks. And you have simple star, fall glow, streaks, and ghost. Simple star, kind of like the reflection of a diamond, I guess you could say. And then you have ghosts, which is kind of like a lens flare effect. And then you have the fog, or glow effect. And that's personally my favorite. And I always put this on high quality. It takes just a split second longer to composite it, and it, in my opinion, it looks better. <coughs> and then you have this down here, which is size. It controls how large the glow actually is. Like if we put it on uh, two, well, it only goes down to six. It goes between six and nine, so. But if you have it on 6, see it's kind of small. The aura around it is small. And if you go up to 9, larger. And then on this mix node, this you control the mixing between the render layer and the glare uh, node. If you have it all the way on 1, depending on how you have the node, the input set up here, if you have it all the way one way, it's just the glare. If you have it the other way, it's just the render layer. And then you can mix it anywhere in between like 0.5 and then it's 50-50 split between the two. But I kind of like it all the way up. <coughs> now, if you wanted to save the image, you just go to save as image and then you could save it and it saves it with the um, glare applied to it. Now once you have this set up, because you could set this up like I said before um, you do your rendering or after, but if you're going to render like an animation that has multiple frames you need to set it up beforehand. That way it can apply it to each individual frame as it renders and then save it. Now, for example, 
if I was to render another image right now, it would render as normal, and then once it gets done rendering the image, then it will automatically apply the glare effect to it. I'm going to render another image, but I'm going to turn down the samples down real low where it's going to be basically an unusable image just so it renders quickly for this example. Now if I click on render down here it'll start rendering. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you can see the street lights there's no glow to it. But whenever it gets done rendering then the compositor will click in or kick in and it will apply the render or the gl uh, glare effect to it. I need to get me a good GPU. Alright, so it's just as simple as that. Once you have this set up, it doesn't matter how many frames you your animation is. Every time it renders one frame, it will apply the, uh, the glare effect to it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and slide this down. And then make that just a little bit bigger. That way you can take a good look at the node set up right there. And if you have any questions about how to set this up or how to well yeah how to set this up let me know in the comments but anyway thanks for watching later people